So the guy that's going to be holding the, the bungee, I don't want you standing in the corner. My name is Martin Heath. I'm, I'm from the west coast of Scotland, a place called Oban, and I'm the head squash coach of the varsity squash team. Right, quick feet, guys. Lift up your feet. My name is Oscar Lopez. I'm from Mexico City. I'm the assistant coach at the University of Rochester, and I played here for four years as well. My name is Ryosei Kobayashi. I'm from Tokyo, Japan. I'm Faraz Khan. I grew up in Greenwich, Connecticut, and I am from Pakistani descent. Both my parents grew up there. My dad used to play squash too, and it's a little, a little bit of a rare sport as well. And I just loved it immediately as soon as I started, I started playing. Squash is not popular in Japan. No one knew what squash is. Your first reaction is like, oh, is it like tennis? But in a like room or box. Usually they said, uh, oh, that, the vegetable you mean. <laughs> so their reactions are always, uh, oh, I never heard about it. Is that, is that racquetball? A common way of describing squash is that it's like physical chess. You have all these possibilities, all these different angles, all, a lot of ways of playing the game as well. You're trying to finish off the, uh, the point by making the ball bounce twice or forcing an error from your opponent. But you're having to do it in this way where you have to compete with the, for the same space as your opponent. So it's, it's a more cerebral game. First thing I made in my mind to come here is because of Martin Heath, the former number four player in the world. It was obviously a childhood dream to be a professional squash player for me at least, but it had this added bonus of, of being this incredible worldwide sport, very small but spread all over the world. The team is sort of is a microcosm of the experience that I had and I think the way the world is turning. This team is special. Uh, we have players from China, Japan, and Mexico. Different cultures that bring us together. We learn from each other, different languages, different experiences. And then Squash is bringing us together. We've now become rivals with the, the Ivy League schools. They've traditionally dominated uh, college squash. I mean, it's just great to play Princeton. It's great to, great to host them at, at Rochester. Uh, they are a rival. We have beaten them before, but we've lost to them a lot more times than we've beaten them. When I was playing, we only beat them once, and it was, it was a great year. I feel like the level of competition is very high since all of the university's coaches recruit really good players from all over the world. Every match is exciting. Let's do this. It's a lot of excitement the day you play. I was playing on the number one spot, so I knew I was going to play their best player, and it was pretty nerve-wracking. When you're in the moment, the nervousness fades away. I enjoy long rallies because I'm in a rhythm. Eventually, he'll get tired, so I'm, just, I'm putting in an investment. Even if I'm tired, which I, which I was, I know that it will pay off. Yeah. Nice. Well played. One shot is my turning point. So I wait until the opportunity comes and just strike it. Yeah. That moment I felt like, oh, it's my game. You always need that turning point, that emotional moment where the crowd get involved, the energy lifts in the room and it's a real, there's only five courts and there's relatively limited space so the noise level can get up quite a lot. The guys in the other courts feel that and uh, we definitely want to create that atmosphere. I think that, was, that changed the momentum of the match where it could have gone either way uh, but it was a battle in every court. This one means a lot to us as coaches and for the players as well. It's a job that I would do for nothing. You know, if I could afford it, I can't, unfortunately, but uh, that's, that, that's the reality. And, and that's, that's the huge motivating factor for me to stay in the job is that it really is it's a privilege for me. A production of the University of Rochester. Please visit us online and subscribe to our channel for more videos.